for anyone who smokes marijuana and gets behind the wheel of a car. But in practice, police have few tools to crack down until now. A former Mountie says he's come up with a roadside test to bust high drivers. Smoke, coke, or puff, no one seems to have much of a problem until one thing is added to marijuana. Driving. Drugs double the chance of accidents, a deadly combination often ignored. They're not afraid to drug and drive because they don't feel that law enforcement will do anything about it. Then this former Mountie met a biomedical engineer. That's sort of what we do. It's like, you know, as engineers, we're always trying to make the world a little bit better. Their BC invention... New technology breakthroughs could put hard drug driving evidence in police hands right on the roadside. Right now, police depend on sobriety tests to crack down. Criminal prosecution requires invasive blood tests, inaccurate blood swaps, and tough court battles. It's why almost all drivers suspected of toking get little more than a 24-hour suspension. <laughs> As American states decriminalize, awareness is rising, and so is a clear need and demand for a law enforcement tool. In 18 months, uh, we would like to have this in front of the um, Minister of Justice. First, more engineering, testing, scientific reviews and field trials, and funding now being raised from investors. But money isn't the only motivation. Raj is also a medical doctor. On the emergency, you sort of see what's going on, particularly with the impaired driver. You see, like, the biggest wrecks who come through the hospital. And both. I don't think my kids would. <laughs> Ready to spark a solution in the hazy politics of pot. Top Optics TV News.